of the top recommendations we uh, tell our viewers to patch your system to keep it up to date, to get those security patches on there. Sometimes Windows Update, though, isn't enough. If you're running an FTP server, a web server, peer-to-peer -peer clients, chat applications, you're offering yourself up to the net, and anything that communicates with the with the Internet could be a potential risk. So That's we're right. going to take a look at security holes in your systems with a new application, actually a port of an old application. Yes, there was an old application. We've talked about it before. It's called Nessus. You've probably heard about it. It's open source. It's one of the, I don't know, one of the best. Well, it's, it's a great uh, vulnerability scanner. Should be in everybody's toolkit. Definitely. But it's Unix only, right? It's Unix, and it's a little tricky to set up. Right. It's, it's not that hard if you if you have a, if you've compiled applications within Unix or Linux, right. then you shouldn't have a, too hard of a problem setting right. it up. Right. But uh, for the average home user or the you know junior network administrator that is basically just running Windows, right. uh, they're going to have a little bit of difficulty. So w this is a front end to it, or how does this? Work? Yes. Well, actually, let me show you. I got a nice little chalkboard okay. here. Okay. Oh, look. Uh, let me show you the whole process of how this all comes yes. together. So you have a hacker or or let's say a security professional that finds a vulnerability. <laughs> and uh, hacker, hacker is such a nasty yes. word. Yeah. The little, I had to have a reason to draw this skull and crossbones. I know, I know, I like it. But uh, so once they release that on the web, it gets out there, there's going to be somebody that creates a plugin for Nessus. Oh, so it's vulnerability by vulnerability. Each one has to have its own plugin? Exactly. They create these custom plugins that they plug right into Nessus, and the Nessus is the application that can go out there and do all the scanning, that can scan the target machines looking for these holes or vulnerabilities. So it's much more than just looking for open ports. You're actually looking for a certain kind of traffic. It's not just a port scanner. It's yeah. going to do so much more. It does a lot more probing around and actually tries to see what versions oh, you're running of different things. Right. And so it's looking for that. Now, the cool thing, this program I'm going to show you now is called Newt. Okay. And it's a Windows port of Nessus. So it's a complete port. Yes, it's a complete port, and it's compatible with all of the plugins that are used oh, like with that. Nessus, which are which is really cool. Well, let's take a look at. Yeah, it. let's take a look at it. So this here is Newt running, and uh, it's really easy to install. There's really not uh, with with the uh, Linux variation, it's it's a lot more difficult to get up and running. And uh, basically, all you do is you click on Start a New Task. Actually. Yeah, start a new task is the best way to get started. And you type in the IP address or the system that you want to connect to. So here. you're going to actually, this is in effect a, a security scan on the system that you type in. Correct. So you could say just like uh, KevinRose.com or okay. whatever server that we wanted to. I've or you can do it against a website too. Uh, against a website or local machines or whatever right. you like, local host, you have the local machine. So this is your machine if you say local host. Exactly. Yeah. And then you can go into uh, also things like, uh, let me show you here. After we go into uh, our plugin manager, here's the plugins. Now these are all the different types of scans that you're going to be performing against uh, your machine. I see. So we can say here, let's uh, let's base uh, this is the Microsoft machine that I'm scanning. So we'll click on here, and you can see it selected all the different types of abuses that are uh, used for Microsoft. This. this is great. Yeah, check this out. Actually, it's going to scan for over 1,900 different types of vulnerabilities on your machine. These are so all well-known exploits. I mean, oh just my tons goodness. and tons of exploits and vulnerabilities. Wow. All different types of hacks and attacks. I mean, Lotus Domino, I mean, you name it. They cover the whole range, and they tell you information about that, that vulnerability. So whenever there's a new vulnerability, it's almost like an antivirus where the, a new vulnerability they have to program in a definition, a string, a way to attack it, and then this will understand exactly. it. Exactly. The second a new vulnerability is released, they create a plugin for this, and then... But it doesn't actually do the exploit, right? It just... No, it doesn't. Okay. But check this out. If you click on Update Plugins here, it's going to say Start the Update Wizard. We click that, and it's going to launch this, and we can choose Update, and that'll go out and get all the latest vulnerabilities that are out there right now. See, there's 1.1 megabytes. Just like megabytes. downloading the new virus definition. Exactly. In okay. Exactly. So that updates Look the Look at there's a lot of them. Yeah, there's, there's yeah. a lot of new ones out there. Wow. They're, they're constantly releasing these. I mean, right. I'm sure there's new ones every day. Right. And so after you uh, have, have completely updated this, then you run the, the scan, and then this is what it looks like. I'm going to go, it takes a while to run the scan. So we, these are pre-scanned. These are pre-scans okay. I've done. I, I did one here of uh, Sarah's website, I, my I website. I knew you scanned Sarah. I and, knew it. Yeah. I knew it. We click on that did, there. Did she have any particular vulnerabilities we should know about? She had a couple that I had. Yeah. I hear right behind her ear right there. No, like, no? I, I, I had okay. to patch them, but they're all fixed up now. <laughs> okay. Uh, if you check this out here, this is the report. It generates a nice little HTML report that you can email to this anyone. This is incredible. Yeah, see, so here's all an open no, SSH one. I've played with the command line version, but this is really nice. Nice graphical, yeah. They really made it easy to use. That's great. And, and it references all the different types of vulnerabilities that are out there, so you can actually click on it. It'll take you right to Nessus and tell you more about that, what systems it affects, and uh, it's, it's... Now, this could obviously be used by a hacker to look for 
vulnerabilities. Well, the cool thing about this, though, yeah, it could be used by a hacker, right. but with today's modern intrusion detection systems, this stomps pretty hard. They know necessarily. They know. Yeah. If okay. you have an IDS set up, it's going to stomp pretty hard with these different types of right. scans, and it's going to set off those intrusion detection systems. Much more likely to be used by a system administrator on their own network to make sure that there aren't any real vulnerabilities. Exactly. That That's exactly what it's used for. If you're for. running a, a network, even a home, small home network, is mm -hmm. probably a very good thing to run. Now, if I'm behind my router, mm -hmm. should I go outside the router yes, to run it? Definitely. Okay. You should probably uh, set a machine house. outside of the router, or yep. you can set a machine outside of the router, okay. and then come on, come on in from that that right. Because if you're scanning internally, if you have things like file shares and you're things gonna like see that, all that, it's going to it's going to set off all those warnings. Right. But it doesn't mean you're vulnerable. Exactly. Because that's internal. Okay. You want to see how someone from the outside is going to get in. Right. So, Very uh, neat. Do you have cool a link to this? And it's free or no? Just, no this this is actually a commercial version. The okay. Unix uh, variation is That's free. free. Yeah. This one here is going to cost you uh, five hundred dollars. Uh -huh. But uh, the cool thing is they give you a free thirty-day trial. So if you want to try it out, play with it, you know, figure out if it's for you. It's give, a good. It's a good a thing for everybody to to do at least once for free. Exactly. If you want to scan your machines, you can download Newt from Kevin's article. It's at thescreensavers.com. Thanks.